welcome to Savage Reviews. So last week I put up on the channel that I had something a little special planned for this week and here it is. Not one, not two, not three but four Shark Attack movies. And they're all the two-headed, three-headed, five-headed and six-headed Shark Attack movies. So I watched them all over the last week and a bit just so I could give you my reviews on them. Um, now, usually I am a fan of these type of shark films, you know, Sand Sharks, Ghost Shark, Shark Exorcist is pretty bad, but yeah, it's enjoyable. Um, but these ones really take the cake. So I'm going to start off with Two-Headed Shark Attack. This one came out in 2012. It was directed by Christopher Douglas Olin Ray. It stars Carmen Electra, Charlie O'Connell, Brooke Hogan, and Christina Bach. The plot is barely there. Um, students take refuge on an atoll which is sinking to escape a two-headed shark when their boat sinks. Look, it does get points for effort um, and for getting financing for something called two-headed shark attack. And it gets half a point for having Carmen Electra. What I didn't like about it, obviously there is a lot not to like about it. For starters, the, the characters are super annoying. They are like just, you, you do want the shark to eat them and eat them quick. Um, the acting is really bad and the CGI is just slightly worse than the acting. Um, really, really bad CGI, really bad acting and the characters that are annoying did not make for a enjoyable film. This one gets two and a half stars. Points for effort, points for financing, half a point for Carmen Electra, two and a half out of 10. Next one is Three-Headed Shark Attack. Came out in 2015, so three years later, obviously it took more to get more money up to make this thing. Um, same director, Christopher Ray, um, but it stars Rob Van Dam, Karusha Tan, Jason Simmons, and Danny Trejo. Uh, this one tries to throw in some social commentary about the dangers of polluting, but it really does fail because you're there for a three-headed shark. The CGI is slightly better in this one, so it does get that. Um, you know, it, it does, the shark, it's got three heads, it does look a little bit better. Um, and it also has Danny Trejo in it, which, you know, for me, sets it above the first one already. Like I said, better CGI and Danny Trejo. Everything else in this movie is bad. The rest of the cast do a pretty bad job. There's some scenes where someone's falling off the side of a boat, but just the angle that it's filmed, you can tell they're just standing there and holding lightly. Like, there's no real fear or anything in there. Um, yeah, just, it's an improvement on the first one, but it's still a really bad movie, and it has slightly better acting, but some of those scenes just really take you out. So yeah, out of this one, look, it's going to get an extra half a point because of Danny Trejo, so I'm going to give it 3 out of 10. Okay, moving on, so we've got five-headed shark attack. So you're probably asking about what happened to the fourth head. Well, we'll get to that in a moment. So this was directed by someone different, Nico De Leon and Jose Montaninos. Um, it stars Chris Bruno, Nikki Howard, Jeffrey Holzman, and Chris Costanza. The plot, I, I honestly don't know. Um, there was some sort of oceanography study going on, but it really, yeah, there was police involved. Who knows? Look, it did have slightly better acting in this one. Not great, but slightly better. So that was an uptake in the previous movie. However, the CGI just got worse. So what I didn't like was the fact that the shark itself in some scenes looked like someone had blown up a rubber glove and painted it gray. Yeah, it really didn't, yeah, really bad. The shark itself, and this is what I mentioned before, it's five-headed shark attack. So what happened to the fourth one? At the start of this movie, the shark has four heads. So it's kind of like they went to make four-headed shark attack, but then thought, well, we're going to have to make five-headed. Let's just halfway through this film add a fifth head and put it on its tail. No idea how that happened. No idea why that happened. But there you go. Two out of ten. And on to the final one. Six-headed shark attack. 
Now this one came out in 2018. Um, so it's only a year after Five Head Shark Attack. So they must have got the funding pretty quick or they made it really cheaply and I kind of think they did. Um, so this one was directed by Mark Atkins. It stars Brandon Arut. Um, I think I'm pronouncing that cor correctly. Thandy Sieb and Cord Newman. Now at this point I had watched Two Head Shark Attack, Three Head Shark Attack, Five Head Shark Attack and going into Six Head Shark Attack I'd lost touch with reality and had no concept of time or space there was only the Six Headed Shark. Look, the plot itself was something about a marriage boot camp it really didn't make a lot of sense there was yeah it was bad but it did have great scenery uh yeah look really nice the waters look nice and calm and relaxing but that's about it everything else about the movie it had some really badly misplaced music which really stood out um and it really does take you out of it so yeah it was the absolute worst CGI. I said the rubber glove was pretty bad, but this one was even worse. The acting overall was really, really bad. Really bad. I can't overestimate or overemphasize how bad it was. And the shark. Somehow, it runs on land. By using its other heads, it creates legs and runs on land. Yeah, look. I'm all for, you know, low budget films and, you know, shark movies. I love shark movies. They're some of my favorite types, like Sharktopus, love it. Sand sharks, love it. Um, I think there's even lava sharks or something at one point I watched. Great film. Well, maybe not great, but an enjoyable watch. This was not. This was really difficult to get through, but I did. And overall, this one gets the lowest score one out of ten so there you have it there is two headed shark attack three headed shark attack five and four headed shark attack and six headed shark attack steer clear of these ones they are if you want a good shark movie watch jaws if you want a low budget but good shark movie watch sand sharks that thing's fantastic really good cast it's a fun movie it's enjoyable it's low budget and that's what you want out of a movie, an enjoyable film. These are not. There you have it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back next week with another Savage Review. And we'll see what that one is. Maybe it's another shark one. Maybe it'll be Shark Exorcist. Or maybe it'll be something completely different. Who knows? We'll see what's on. Now to see where these were, I found these online on Tubi, YouTube, etc. So you can watch them for yourself. But look, do yourself a favour. Don't waste your time. Have a great one. Bye.